Okay, so before joining the fire service, I was doing a degree in criminal justice and psychology and I took a study gap for a year and then during that year, they were recruiting more females within the fire service. So then that was when I looked and I thought, okay, well, maybe the fire service could be a career for me. To be fair, it wasn't some, a job which I thought I would have done. Um, I just didn't think it was for someone like me. And, um, but I was interested in it because when I was at senior school, I uh, did my work experience at Birmingham Airport Fire Station and I thought it was really good and I really enjoyed it. But yet still, I didn't think it was a career for me. But then when I did see that recruitment phase going on and um, they were trying to recruit more females into the fire service, that was when I thought, oh, OK, maybe it is something I could do. I was the first female recruit uh, trainee instructor. Absolutely love coaching developing people and training people. It's something I do outside of the fire service, I did at the time. And to do it as a job was just brilliant. So to see the firefighters come in, progress from day one to at the end of the training course, be you know a safe to ride firefighter with all of these skills that they developed and, and the learning, you know, the ups and the downs was, was really great. But I, I felt really privileged in that position. So I then had a child um, and I couldn't you know, do some of the operational elements of the role, so I came into headquarters and took part in community fire safety. I was the champion of the school's quiz for as many years as I can remember and absolutely loved doing that. I think for me, as an officer in recruitment, we quite often find that people still um, believe in the old stereotypes of the fire service. If you are a female out there and you um, want to be a firefighter, then you absolutely can do that and believe in yourself. I find that a lot of the female candidates that I support um, have the ability, have the knowledge, have the understanding, but lack the belief. So believe in yourself and do it take that chance because you won't regret it. It's one of the best careers in the world. So when I left training school, I started off at Sully Hall Fire Station and I was at Sully Hall Fire Station for about a year and a half. Then from there, I left and I went to Sheldon. I transferred to Sheldon Fire Station due to being closer to home. And I was at Sheldon for about 10 years. Um, I enjoyed it at Sheldon. I was also a vulnerable persons officer. From Sheldon, I then went into a department and I worked as the exercise coordinator which was arranging large-scale exercises, large-scale multi-agency exercises um, which I really enjoyed. I did that for about a year and a half and then from there I went to TFDP, Training Firefighter Development Programme, where I've been an instructor for about two and a half years. When I came back off maternity leave I went to my first watch manager's job at Kings Norton Fire Station on Blue Watch and probably one of the kind of proudest moments of my career because I went to Wood, um, I went to Kings Norton before I went to Woodgate and I was a watch manager and in my tenure there my crew commander was also a female um, firefighter in her first temporary role and there were two other female firefighters so there were four female firefighters and um, we had a very diverse watch it was brilliant. It was. It just changed the culture of the station, and you know, responding to incidents. You know, and and it, it was a really proud moment for me because we really did um, make a difference in terms of the perception of um, female firefighters. So I'm really proud of that moment, and I'm just thinking all of them are still working in the fire service. So yeah, big shout out to them. I'm very fortunate in that I can be operational and work in recruitment as well. So from an operational point of view, I still get to go out on a fire engine. I still get to help people at their, um, the moment that they need it the most. Um, and that's what I joined for. But then I also get to see the recruitment journey that people go on. Um, and that's incredibly heartwarming from the point that they apply to the point where they are today, on a truck doing what I'm doing. Um, inspiring people and supporting to people to do that is, in, is incredibly rewarding. 
Well, we always say we want the brigade to reflect the community in which we serve and um, to have females in the fire service is obviously important. And when you go out to jobs, sometimes you're there at a person's most vulnerable time in their life and sometimes they can feel more comfortable, more relaxed next to somebody who looks like them or someone who they feel may relate more to their issues or problems which they're going through. So, um, so it is good to have females there. To have the right leaders in the right positions is absolutely key to champion women firefighters to progress through the different positions but the different roles that they can do is, is brilliant because we, we, we all individually have different skill sets and I think it's realising what our own personal skill sets are and where we best add that value because it's, it's, it's fundamental to what we deliver in the fire service and you know I'm really proud to be um, you know a senior leader in the fire service and also that there are many fantastic uh, female firefighters who are progressing through the ranks uh, into different roles and are really making a difference and really kind of championing females in, in, in across the organisation.